Welcome back to the channel, my name is Marvin. As you can see, we have another Nintendo Switch Lite with no power. Um, tried to power it on, there's no nothing happens. I'm assuming, just an assumption, that the um, something's wrong with the port and it just died because it hasn't been able to be, to be charged. We'll find out when we open it up. We're definitely gonna need to open it up. Um, I've checked the ports earlier, or the, the game slot and the SD card slot. Nothing free this time. But um, we're gonna go ahead and just open this thing right up. And um, actually, you know what? I think I'll put it under the microscope and we'll look at the port and then we'll, we'll open it up. One thing I did notice about this though is there's no screws except for the four tri, the tri, tri wing screws. Those are there, but the, the two small ones in the bottom and the two small ones up top are not there. So either somebody's been in it or somebody's tried to be in it, to, to get into it. I don't know. But at any rate, we're definitely gonna go get into it. Let's look, go ahead and look at the port real quick and see what we got. See if we can see anything going on there. A little bit extra light here. dirty but that's not unusual I see some that might be some corrosion right there oh I do remember this one said it had been submerged in water and it hasn't worked since so this is gonna be a water damaged unit but who knows if we will we'll be able to fix it but we're gonna find out I think I see corrosion in there on the uh, on some of those pins there Let's see here Right there, that looks a little green right there. Maybe. See those there, that, those look a little green. One, two, three pins right there. So, and the clasp is a little bit open, but that's not the biggest deal. But, water damage. I do remember the listing said water damage. So let's, let's open this thing up and see what it looks like on the inside. So, you probably see that there, but that is pink. That is the uh, moisture indicator. So it's definitely gotten wet under here. Which, you know, it's not the end of the world. We can do our best to, to fix what we can. I do some, see some corrosion on here. I can see it um, without even being under the microscope. There's some corrosion under there. Um, in some cases, we just clean the corrosion off and uh, it works just fine, but uh, we won't know until we try. I'm going to go ahead and continue taking this apart and then we'll see what we got. All right, I went on ahead and pulled both boards out. Um, I want to see, uh, clean off any corruption I see on both of these. And I do see a little bit here um, and a little bit here near the power connector and the ribbon cable connectors. A little bit here. This is not even without looking under the microscope. I can see it. So um, I'm gonna clean off what I can before I, um, before I try to power it on. However, I am gonna plug in my, um, so my power connector just to see what happens here. See if we get anything on, on our meter, and we do. Looks like it actually comes on we're at 0 .02, 0 0.02 amps there. I don't think that's gonna charge or that's charging. And we're only at, we're, cause we're only getting at 0.3 watts. Of course I don't have a battery hooked up so we, we wouldn't get anything anyway. But um, let's go ahead and clean everything off. We'll clean all the corrosion off. I'll check for shorts and then uh, we'll test it and see what happens. Here we go, to the microscope. 
That's what the corrosion looks like there. Some of the water damage there. Some there, a little bit there. Uh, those pins aren't looking the best either. This looks like an original factory port. The old school ones where the, there's no back on them. And the pins that tend to tend to break. They all seem to be pretty well connected still, so I'm not even gonna mess with them. I don't think that's an issue yet. Yeah, those are all good. But the corrosion, we're gonna take care of that. We see that this this tells us that this water has been into this thing. Oh yeah, plenty up here as well. There's some. What is that? That looks like it's burnt. Uh, I don't know. Maybe flux. Some up here. Oh my gosh! Look at that connector. That does not look good. It actually looks burnt. Here as well. Okay. There. Here's some more. This area here. Wow, it's all over. Maybe I should put this in the ultrasonic cleaner instead. It's all over. A little bit here. This is the thermal paste or Whatever that pink stuff is called, I think it's a type of thermal paste. Looks like it comes off easy enough. This is usually on the shield. That's okay. This isn't gonna do any harm. Okay. Anyway, more corrosion right there, or at least a little bit of water damage, uh, moisture damage. All right, let's flip it over. The other side, just all over. See it here. It is literally all over the place. Yeah, I would believe this thing has been completely submerged in water. We've got a lot of cleaning to do here. Okay. Let's look at the other board. Oh, same thing. A lot of cleaning to do. There's some forensic evidence here. All right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start with some IPA and a toothbrush. Take it from there. Actually, we're gonna start with some gloves because IPA really dries out my hands, and I'm sure it does to everybody else as well, but. I don't like to get it on my hands if I can if I can try to avoid it. Like I like to, but it doesn't hurt them. It just really dries them out, as it should. There's like zero water in it, or one percent water in it, if that. So anyway, uh, maybe one percent. Let me grab a toothbrush, my little tube of IPA. I'll start down here. I'm gonna go for it.
Okay, I think we're all cleaned up on this board. Let's switch to the other one and get that one wrapped up, real, cleaned up real quick. There isn't much on this one to clean. Should be relatively quick, looks like. We'll zoom in here. We'll take a look. See if we have any other, some more corrosion, any other corrosion here that needs to be cleaned. Ooh. That, uh, huh. I was thinking I was, might have been missing something, but that doesn't look like there's even solar on, on this one here. So that might be okay. Hopefully we're okay here. There's ribbon cables. Not bad there. That looks good. Okay. Let's go back to the main board. See how we look. That looks better than before. a lot better. Don't see any issues in here. Any corrosion, I should say. That's looking pretty good. Same with in here. here and there, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, I don't really see any here. It's a little bit cloudy. Maybe I can clean that area again, but it doesn't look corroded or anything, so I'm okay with that, I think. Looking okay here. Wasn't too sure about this connector right here. That looks burnt to me. May end up needing to change this connector. Let's uh, let's zoom in here and see what they look like down here. I mean, the connector itself looks fine. I see all the pins there, so that's not bad, but. Solar joints don't look the greatest here and here. Not to say they're not the they're not soldered on. They just don't look very good. I'm gonna go with it for now. I'm not gonna clean it or replace it until I think it actually needs to be replaced. The switch will still operate if this connector is not working well. We just won't see anything. This is the LCD connector. So we won't see anything on the screen. All right, let's, let's continue. Okay. This one looks fine too. Out of there. Okay. All right. 
the other side. Here we go. Start up here. We're good here. All good. All good. Not bad. Max ship. Look okay around here. I haven't put my my uh, probes on yet to see it to check for any shorts. Just wanted to get it cleaned off first. Not too bad. Okay here. Okay here. That's fine. That's fine. Everything there is good. Good there. And I did not clean the inside of this port. I guess I could do that too. Take a look. Light. I think that's better. Maybe. Don't see any green stuff in there. Turn around this way. Doesn't look green anymore. This is a little bit better, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go with it. Let's get these shields put back on here. A little bit of thermal grizzly. All right, what's that? I think what I'll do is flip this guy over. Before I button it up, I'll just check for a few shorts around here, around M92. Only checking for shorts, that's it. I'm in diode mode here right, with my red probe on ground. That's good. shorts. All right. I think we'll go ahead and close, put this thing back in and test it just to see what happens. All right. Let's do that. All right. I got this thing put back together here. Um, I didn't put any screws on this side here. I'm going to connect the power up to it and then I'm just going to see what happens. Let's see if we get a, it starts charging here. Crossing my fingers. No, not really, but let's just see what happens. All right. Not, doesn't look very promising here. Not very promising here.
0.1 milliamps or 0.1 amps, 1.6 watts, 1.65. The battery could be just full on dead, dead. One point six five six, one point six five eight. But I think we're getting close. We're now at seven. Ooh, we're just about at seven watts. Six point eight. Might be getting close here. All right, what I'm gonna do? I'll hold this here. I'm actually gonna take this out and flip it, just to make sure we're working on the other side as well. Let's see what happens here. And it doesn't look like we're getting anything here. Uh, oh, the fan is spinning like crazy under, underneath my hand. Look at that. Can you see that? The fan is spinning like crazy. Why? All right. It's still spinning. I think this thing is powered on. Let's see if we can power it off here. All right. Well, that's um, something. And it's back on again. The fan is going nuts. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put the heat sink on here real quick. So I don't want the CPU giving me troubles. The fan is running full speed. Okay, why the fan is running full speed, I have no idea. It is though. Let me see if I can hold the button, our power button down here long enough to get this thing shut off. It doesn't seem to be shutting off, but then again, it doesn't seem to be powering on either. I'm not getting anything out of here. Nothing. Oh, there we go. I think we drained the battery enough with the fan going full speed that we're not getting anything anymore. And we're only at 0.11 amps. Not a good sign. Oh, here we go. Back to six. 0.46 amps, we've jumped up. 6.9 watts. Nothing on the screen. I don't see a battery indicator there at all. The fan is not spinning right now. So I guess that's a good sign. But this does look like it's charging. Okay. I'm not gonna set this down for a minute. See if this charges. And just come back to this later. 
I expect that we should get a light here, but we're not getting anything, so. Um, or even the backlight. I don't, I don't see the backlight on at all either. So, we may still have some work to do. We may not get away with just cleaning this thing. We'll see. I'm gonna give this a little bit of time, see if that battery will charge up, and then uh, we'll come back to this. Okay, I'm back, it's the next day. This thing did fully charge. I actually unplugged it, and good news is, it's actually on. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that. It's working. Maybe you can hear that in my mic. But there's nothing on the screen. The screen's not showing up. So it does tell me that it's possible that this ribbon cable here, which is our LCD ribbon cable, and possibly uh, our backlight here. So we've got our backlight here and our LCD here. Something's going on. It could be the ribbon cables, could be the connector. It could be the actual uh, component itself. I don't have any, I don't see a backlight on here, which I'd, we'd normally see. If you saw my last video, you noticed that um, we had the same issue with the actual connector itself. Um, but I don't actually see a backlight. So I'm gonna go with the actual, um, I'm gonna look at actually, I'll look at the connector here um, under the microscope as well as the cable. And I'll do another a more thorough inspection of this connector here as well. So this connector here and this one here. I don't know if you can see it right now, but the fan is spinning again as well. It's not spinning, spinning full blast like it was before, probably because I put the heat sink on there. Um, but at any rate, this thing is working. We just gotta figure out what's going on with the LCD. So all we've done so far is just clean it. That's it. So I'm gonna power it off, we'll pull it out, and then we'll see what's going on with these connectors. Okay, starting with our LCD connector here. Um, I was a little worried about this about those two pins and it looks like maybe those were causing us issues after all so I think I'm gonna have to replace this connector um, I could harvest one off another board which is probably what I'm gonna do see if I can find another um, another board with a good connector that I have lying around and uh, just pull it off that we'll see what that does for us I'm also going to bring over the actual ribbon cable and we'll give that a quick look as well. It doesn't look that bad actually. Just kind of give eyeballing it. It doesn't look that bad. Although I'm, I am a little worried that the LCD and the backlight were not showing up, so um, those are all within the LCD itself. It's not a separate, there's not a separate backlight. And this cable does not look very, very good, very healthy, to be honest. Look at that cable.
think I'll do, since all my pins seem to be intact, I think I'll pull this, this uh, connector off. And um, I'm going to uh, just check the, the pads underneath, <clears throat> see if those need to be maybe retinned, or um, I'll just check the traces on them. And maybe it just needs to be reflowed. And maybe that'll be good because the actual pins, see the, the gold pins in there, they look to be just fine as far as I can tell. They're all there. Um, and that's really all we need other than the, um, the good contacts to the, um, the pins on the board itself or the, to the pads on the board itself. So let's go ahead and pull this up and then retin it and put it back down. Then we'll try it again. Gonna add a little flux here. Okay. This is still hot. I'm gonna add a little bit more flux and go over it with my soldering iron and some fresh, some fresh solder. Created a bridge here. We'll clear that out real quick. Here, there we go. Did that a little bit ago as well. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and clean this up. Gonna add a little flux here. from the bottom again. That's it. While it's hot, I'm gonna hit it with a cotton swab. Just to pull up some of that flux. All right, let's pull it off of the board holder and see how we did.
So here's our other board here. It does look like that uh, pin is looking pretty rough there. This one here, maybe I can end up cleaning that out and that'll, and that'll help us. Let's see here. That pin goes to here. Hmm. Maybe I can stick my multimeter on there. No, I'm just gonna clean that out. There's a little bit of corrosion in there. I'm gonna clean it out. And we'll see how it goes after that. Yeah, look at that. That looks like it scrapes right off, so. I'm gonna end up cleaning this a little bit better. I probably could have done a better job the first time I had it apart. But that's okay. We'll get it cleaned out. Let me look at this ribbon cable as well. Or this uh, ribbon connector. I could probably do a better job cleaning that one out too. See that there? Problem with that corrosion is it's, um, it's conductive. So we've got to get it all out of there. All right, that's what I'll work on. Let's get this cleaned out. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. So if that one doesn't work, I do have another from a completely different switch. It's not working. The uh, trigger button here is broken, but I can, I'll fix that. I don't need to have that fixed now, but um, it, this is working and I can just swap, I can swap the board over without any issues other than the trigger button. That's easy to fix, I have some of those. But, uh, so here we go, I'm gonna put this one back in. We'll put this back together and let's just, let's see if this works. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to hit record on my other, my previous overhead, this camera. And what I discovered was with my, this is the, my replacement backup LCD. I put my, this motherboard and this, um, I don't know what this other board's called, but this other board into this case and I was able to get something on the screen. So um, that tells me that either this is the issue, this board here on the, my old one or the, this LCD here. So what I've done is I've taken my original board here and I've put it into the original case here and I've swapped out this board with one that I had previous from another, um, matter of fact, I think it was from this, from this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and see if I get something on the screen here that I know I've isolated the incident, the, the issue to just this board, the old board. Um, if I don't get anything on the screen, then it's the screen itself and I'll swap it. I'll put it into this one and maybe I'll get a new digitizer because this one's kind of scratched up here. All right. Here goes. I'll do the battery first. And my fan is going a million miles an hour. Actually, you know what? I, I need to unhook the battery here, unfortunately. Because I forgot to plug in my front panel connector. Or my front panel. My front... Uh, my power button. Actually, let's go and get this power button put in right now. See if I can do it without the microscope. And I can. Okay, that's it. Now, the battery seated back down there. And I will plug in this ribbon cable here. Maybe. Maybe. There it goes. Seat it down. 
right, and now let's uh, power it on. See if we get anything, and we do. Look at that, it's working. There it is, it's working. So my original screen, there was no issue with my original screen here. Hopefully I can get some of these smudges off of it. Digitizer is working. This one I mentioned had in my previous overhead cam shot that parental control is on, but I can take care of that. Um, but there it is, the screen actually works. Uh, I don't have any buttons, any of the buttons or the thumbsticks plugged in. But, um, so, we changed out this connector here. That was kind of a pain, but it worked. I, I, actually, we didn't change it out, take that back. We fixed the connector that was there. I did have to change this connector out because I broke the little tab, locking tab on it. Um, we cleaned off all of the, the water damage areas. We didn't actually change any parts other than this connector that I accidentally knocked off. And um, this actually, the sideboard, we actually didn't change this. I don't know what this thing's called. This uh, uh, secondary board or whatever it's called. Anyway, we changed this out as well. That's it. And uh, that thing's working. I'm going to put this thing back together. And we'll see what it looks like when we're done. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming along for this one. Um, I'll test it out a little bit more. We'll make sure Wi-Fi is working. We'll make sure that the game port's working. The game port, as well as the um, SD card slot, SD card reader. Um, and other than that, this thing's done. This thing's ready to go. Again, thanks for coming along. Thank you guys for joining. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.